We're driving inspired conversations. Our first Asian themed issue in January featured an incredible piece by Deputy Editor Alice Neville on two architects that are doing the most amazing things in Auckland and their ability to design a space where cultures collide and, and share food. We've created a feature on New Zealand made. It could be knives, it could be ceramics, it could be dining furniture, giving a platform to the lesser known talent and turning them into the next new big thing. Um, always excellent, beautiful products, aspirational. So, who is the Cuisine Reader? She or he is 45 plus, affluent, professional or stay at home or these days professional working at home. Um, two to three kids, private schools influenced by what their kids are into dresses well, makes time for themselves, and in that time for themselves is reading cuisine, locking themselves away, a glass of wine, a bit of good cheese and a cracker, and cuisine and really getting into it. Travels a lot, eats out a lot, entertains at home, an early adopter of trends and wants to be up with what's hot, enjoys prestige brands, trusts cuisine. So if cuisine endorses a product, our reader will want to buy it. And if, if we endorse a restaurant, our reader will want to be there. They'll want to be there first before anybody else to check it out. And a Cuisine Recommends sticker on a bottle of wine will see that wine flying off the shelves. So with our redesign, we've focused on integrated advertising that really works with the flow. We want to take our readers on a journey uh, when they're reading Cuisine. No more chunks and segments. Seamless, beautifully designed advertising. Working to highlight the client brand and also align with our brand so that it works and it gels together. And there's something really in these ads because they're, they're inspiration and instant gratification for the reader. It's not just shoving something down their throat. So Garden of Eating, not just your average corn chip, working into Christmas party ideas and that beautiful, beautiful, elegant Morisco King series piece, aligning with their support of our Cuisine Artisan Awards and, you know, the work of hands and hearts. We believe every brand deserves and needs a unique approach. So no other food and drink magazine can interact with a national audience the way that Cuisine can. A big part of that is because of our cuisine events. They connect our food industry, the chefs, the restaurants, the growers, producers, with food and drink lovers across the country. This image shows you the Cuisine Good Food Awards 2016. What a night. The, the only national award for restaurants and chefs. A team of over 40 respected food professionals around the country judge for us anonymously. We pay for every meal. The hats awarded to the restaurants are respected and coveted. Um, the industry waits for the Cuisine Good Food Awards every year and everyone who is anyone in the food industry is in that room. So, you know, we have the weight of our amazing Fairfax events team behind us to make these events absolutely premium. So our Cuisine Artisan Awards, again, another event investing in the future of food in New Zealand. Um, this year we have New Zealand's top chefs, Michael Meredith, Sid Sarawat and Simon Wright joining us to judge. They are the top taste buds in the country, the very, very best. And again, the artisans being given a platform to shine and our readers getting access to the hottest new products available. So Cuisine Reader events, this one was amazing at Gusto. Um, we brought together five chefs, never done before, uh, five Italian chefs when we were doing our Italian issue. Um, all cooking, obviously Italian. Oh, well, one was Irish, he wasn't Italian, but he was cooking Italian. Um, family style, share plates, it was an amazing event. Lunch and dinner sold out, and I, of course, had to take one for the team and attend both. Um, I'm constantly, constantly being asked when we're going to do it again. It was such an amazing event. And I think it was amazing because I stood in that room and I looked around and it was full of people that didn't necessarily know one another and they were sharing massive platters of the most amazing Italian food, food bringing people together and cultures colliding and it was special and that's what we do. That's it. Cuisine turns 30 this year and styles continually evolve and over the years we've gone from being the first, well, the only food magazine, the first magazine, possibly, dare I say, to being a little bit too serious about ourselves. And the trend today is not to show off. People, they're taking a more relaxed approach to luxury. Um, understatement is a statement these days. So we can afford at Cuisine to express the prestige of cuisine in a more contemporary and fun way. Great content, and this is, this is important, great content in any shape or form is content that creates an emotional response. Cuisine does that because our audience trusts and respects us, we can reach people in a way that other food magazines can't. 
and food in general is such a huge topic. Um, the Fairfax tentacles give cuisine a reach that no other food mag can compete with. Our content lives on stuffed food and wine. It can surface on our travel channel and also within our lifestyle channel. Um, we have journalists and photographers and videographers spread out all the way across the country in our metro and regional publications. So, you know, we've really got the goods to deliver. We've regrouped, we've re-energised, we've reconnected um, with our core audience and we've rediscovered our unique and authentic personality and we're leading the New Zealand food conversation. And um, I hope you'll come and talk to us about ways that you can get on board and join that that journey because you, you shouldn't miss out.